Oh, there we go. Uh, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, today is um, August 25th, 2018. It's the appearance day of Lord Balaram. And there you can see Radha Krishna. Uh, so, the word Bala means strength or power, and Rama, one who takes pleasure. So, as Prabhupada often um, explained, Balaram, one who takes pleasure in ultimately using his spiritual strength uh, to help other souls. That's ultimately what Krishna does in his form as Balaram. So Prabhupada always also used to preach that Lord Balaram is the original spiritual master because the guru's duty is to help the disciple to try to empower the disciple in Krishna's service and spiritual power, of course, comes from Lord Balaram. Another important point about Lord Balaram is that he is non-different from Krishna. We are monotheists. We believe in one God. And um, the Vedas also teach that, that there is one God and that one Supreme Lord <clears throat> manifests in different forms as, uh, of course, Krishna is his original form. And then he also manifests as Lord Balaram. If we study Lord Balaram's pastimes as revealed in the Bhagavatam, uh, and then similar pastimes, ultimately, uh, when Lord Balaram appeared as Lord Nityananda, uh, we find that he is... Um, you could say a counterpoint to Lord Krishna in the sense that uh, Lord Krishna, of course, speaks Bhagavad Gita and he, and he, um, as he says in Bhagavad Gita, comes to enforce Dharma. Balaram acts somewhat freely. It's, um, it's interesting how Krishna appears in these two different forms so that there's something for everyone. It's almost like at times if one is uh, has some anxiety or some difficulty with one's father because the father is disciplining or punishing, then one goes to the uncle. And so there's a sense in which Lord Balaram offers us a sort of a unique kind of shelter where he... Um, he's more, in, in some ways, more relaxed. You can't really offend him. We find in the case of uh, Rukmi in the um, Bhagavatam that, or Divida, if someone challenges Lord Balaram or tries to um, defeat him, then that person will be quickly destroyed, actually. But if one accepts Lord Balaram uh, with love and devotion, then he's very merciful, he's very kind. And uh, he he drinks Baruni beverage, which is kind of uh, humorous. I mean, there's a lot of humorous pastimes with Lord Balaram, drinking Varuni beverage and uh, killing Romaharshana with a, just a blade of kusha grass. So he's unpredictable, he's a certain... Uh, he's sort of almost like this free spirit form of God. The so Balaram is very interesting, very um, unique, and yet most relevant to us, perhaps, he is offering his mercy to us. He's offering to help us in our own spiritual lives. So before I go, I will sing briefly the um, famous song to Lord Balaram, found in Jai Dev Goswami's... Um, Dashavatar Stotra. So the verse to Lord Balram goes <clears throat> Vahasi Vapushi Vishade Vasanang Jaladabham Halahati Bhiti Milita Jamunabham Kesavadrita Bala 
Ahaladhar Rupa Jaya Jagadisha Hare. So the, the verse begins, Vahasi, you are wearing. Uh, Vahasi, Vapushi Vishade, on your white body. You are wearing on your white body. Vasanam Jaladabham. Clothes, Vasanam, which are Jaladabham, which are the color of a Jalada, literally cloud giver, a rain cloud. So uh, a rain cloud is called Jalada, cloud, uh, water giver, actually, water giver. So um, Jai Dev says, on your white body you wear clothes that are the color of a rain cloud. And Vahasi Vapusi Visade Vasanam Jaladavam Halahati Bhiti Milita Jamunavam. Very brilliant poetry. He says that your clothes are the color of the Jamuna, the blue waters of the Jamuna, who Milita came to see you because she was Halahati Bhiti. She was afraid of being struck by your plow. That's a famous pastime where uh, Lord Balaram called the Jamuna, but she did not flow to him. So he took his plow and began digging up the earth. He said, I will dig up the Jamuna. Or, and, and so out of fear, Hala Hati. Hala means plow. And Hati, Hala Hati. Uh, hati means a blow, a blow from the plow. Halati Biti. Out of fear of being a, a, a blow, a strike from Lord Balaram's plow, Milita, she came to see him. Halahati Viti Milita Jamunavam. So it's very clever poetry that you're, on your white body you wear clothes that are the color of a rain cloud, the color of the Jamuna who came to meet you, fearing a strike from your plow. So that's the verse for Lord Balaram. Um, we have a personal relationship with God. Of course, we receive the mercy of a guru who teaches us about God, about Krishna. But ultimately, once we make that connection, uh, we really have our own personal relationship and, and the Lord, Krishna, Balaram is in our heart. And at any moment, we can turn to the Lord. We There is an, a, a very intimate, personal relationship, which eternally is ours. And at any moment, we can take advantage of that relationship and turn to the Lord. So we celebrate Lord Balaram's appearance day. It's a special opportunity to remember and to take advantage, supreme advantage, of that relationship with Lord Balram. So, um, that's the message. It won't be a long message today, but I strongly encourage all of you to seek the mercy of Lord Balram because no matter what your condition is now, whatever condition we're in, uh, it doesn't matter, happy, unhappy, rich, poor, healthy, unhealthy, lonely, uh, too many friends. Whatever our position may be, uh, we should approach Lord Balaram. And he will bless us and he will help us to achieve the perfection of our life, which is pure Krishna consciousness the mercy of Balaram. So all glories to Lord Balaram. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. And I hope that you all receive the mercy of Lord Balaram. Hare Krishna.